After four world records to their credit, artists of the School of Art Nigeria are set to bag their fifth world record as they embark on the project Historical Painting of Lagos from 1967. The project, which sets to achieve a 250 feet long painting by 50,000 children, would highlight salient points in the history of Lagos since its creation. Now, as you are moving, you can see these are just sketching, they are line drawing. So, when you want to draw, you start with your sketching, right? Uh, so, it's from the sketching thing to now build it. So, let's keep moving. The session, which took place at the Lagos State Council for Arts and Culture, Ikeja, gathered children from different schools across Lagos to educate them on how they can translate written history into pictorial representations in forms of drawing and painting. We are kickstarting the next Guinness World Record for the world largest paint watch mosaic and also the world largest painting, which will be the documentation of the history of Lagos from 1950 to 1967, from 1967 to the present date. And basically that's what we're going to do. We're going to take us through the story of Lagos. Quite a number of history of Lagos has gone in time past and people have forgotten a lot of things that happened in Lagos. Like from the first mainland bridge, second mainland bridge, third mainland bridge, when Qatar Bridge was built, which was 1975, when was the first stack, when the first stack happened, and kind of who was the first civilian governor and um, the um, that was Native Jack on day, that happened in 1978. And quite a number of things that happened in Lagos. We have built about the story, the imagined story that happened in Lagos. So and that's what we've done here so far. We've put together students to come and see a dummy of what the story of Lagos is gonna be and also we exhibit the four Guinness World Cup we've had in time past, which was one for the first largest painting in the world, it was in 2010. The second one was when we brought 37,000 children together to wash their hand, right in Lagos, which was Global Hand Washing Day. The third was when we um, brought the then Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Olu Pade Folure, um, on World Literacy Day to read with children, to set another Guinness World Record. And the last one was when we broke the record for the largest post stamp, yes to so start Lagos as a celebration. So this has a major four games record you see there, and also you see where the story of Lagos has run through. The, all the governors has emerged in Lagos from 1967 to present date. So we captured all the story of the, all the story that has emerged in Lagos so far. The landmarks, the achievement, the cars evolution, the transportation evolution, the how Lagos population has increased, and everything that's happened in Lagos is going to be captured in the next Guinness World Record, which is also a painting competition to educate the children of Lagos about the rich history of Lagos. Apart from the fact that Lagos is 50, this is one of the ways we are celebrating Lagos at 50 with children. Um, and then one important aspect of it is the fact that we're trying to preserve the historical documentation of Lagos State. That's from 1967 up till date, which means that we're, also, we're trying to tie history of Lagos State with education. Of the, of the child. I mean, you agree with me that even some schools now have even cancelled history in the, in, 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 in the schools. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring back the memory, you know, using Lagos State as, as, as a way to, 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 push, to push that effort. So I mean, what, one of the things also we're trying to do today is to ensure that, you know, the history of Lagos State is imbibed in the, in, the, in the hearts of the children. So they're going to be doing some painting, and also we try to put some creativity into it, which is where the competition as well comes into play so that we create some form of entertainment, you know, with it as well. The 
children were taken through drawings and paintings which depict salient points in the history of Lagos since its creation to give them a clearer picture of the project's idea and what they are expected to do. This is just a way to encourage uh, young artists. Actually, when uh, the organizer brought their proposal through the, uh, the ministry, that's the uh, Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, uh, the paper was passed down to us. And the little assistant we can do, we were able to give them a venue and, you know, even give them moral and uh, personal support. The bigger picture is going to be a, um, a long painting, which is going to be a 250 length painting, 250 feet long painting. This will be achieved by over 50,000 children from various schools together. What we've done today is, this, is to first educate the first set of schools, listen to them, sending two representatives from their schools to understand and learn what the big picture is going to be like. We're sending the materials to all the schools for them to create the painting, then come together to put the painting together as a very large painting, a monumental painting, where we can see, learn from, and also accomplish. This project, which is the contribution of School of Art Nigeria to the celebration of Lagos at 50, seeks to document the history of the state in a manner which the artists believe to be more effective than written history alone. The attention span now is very short, and pictorial representation really helps a lot of people to understand where we are, where we are coming from, where we can be. Now, if I write a long story for you to read, you can, yeah, you can read it, but basically it can take you a longer time. But basically when you have pictorial representation, it guides you faster to understand what you are reading and what you are seeing. And you can also relate with the images, like National Art Theatre which was built in 1977. You can relate, oh this is National Art Theatre. You can know how many columns were used to build National Art Theatre and everything. It's a storybook coming to be and basically it's going to be lovely. It's going to capture the essence of Lagos. It's come out in a storybook, coffee book and also as a novel. So it's cut across every age to understand the history that surrounds around everything you see in Lagos. We also I mean, trying to break the Guinness Book of, of, of Records, you know, with the largest paintings by children, um, with using this platform, yes, which, which is actually very, very, very unique. What I've seen today records the, records the beginning of the fifth record of the world, as in the world Guinness Record, the 50th record, as the artists have illustrated some of the pictures here that started from 1967 up to date in, in, in 2017. If you want to make the country move forward, you have to bring out your own idea. Then you have to, as in, you have to illustrate all these things. And what I've experienced today in this place is so fantastic. Lots of artwork and lots of painting that's so beautiful for the history of Lagos. I learned that I should, when joining, I should look at the, I should, I should, I should be able to put the shape well in the right direction and the shadings, the dark, light and middle to make it look exactly like the picture I'm drawing and I learned that most of the artwork here are, are mostly shaded and painted by art, artists. I've seen the history of Lagos in the past and the present. I've seen the governors and the president of the past and present, like um, all right, all right. And I've seen the the pictures of okay, the pictures of the, the buildings that of the past and present of um, of today. I've seen our former president, uh, the president still now, the president still now. I've seen a, a lot of things, so much. School of Art Nigeria is inspired to create such platforms through which Nigerian art and art-loving students can contribute to the development of the country using visual arts as a tool to affect lives positively.
And that's where we draw the curtains on today's edition of Africans. For coverage of African arts and cultural programs, do contact the producer on africats at tvcnews.tv. You can also follow us on Twitter at TVC Africans. Till we come your way again next time, it's goodbye.